Hi there, thanks for joining us. I'm Chris McKinnon with the WBZ News Update. Our top stories today in Braintree, police are investigating an overnight robbery at a gas station. Investigators say a man who was wearing a ski mask pulled a gun on a worker at the Circle K on Elm Street. No one was hurt, but the suspect did make off with some cash. Firefighters had to rescue a woman from a manhole overnight in Boston. It took firefighters 15 to 20 minutes to get the woman out of the manhole near 45 School Street. They're not sure how she got in there, but firefighters did find some debris, which suggests to them homeless people could be climbing in and out of that manhole. The woman was taken to the hospital with some minor injuries. Danvers police are investigating after more than a dozen shell casings were found on a high school campus there. 13 empty shell casings were found inside the boys' bathroom in the stadium area at Essex Technical High School yesterday. It's school vacation week, but there were two girls lacrosse games and a track meet at the school yesterday. Now let's get a check of that forecast with meteorologist Barry Burbank. Hey, Barry. Hey there, Chris. Hi, everybody. Here's what's going on. Well, with the rain and the precipitation we had uh, this morning, it pretty much uh, cleansed the atmosphere, so our pollen count is down for today. But uh, as the weather gets better, that raises the pollen re, uh, amounts, and so we're looking at high levels over the next few days. So that's the downside of getting nice spring weather. The tree pollen gets a little bit worse. We're looking at temperatures this afternoon, which may get back to the lower 40s or so. These will be highs across the nation. Not bad from coast to coast. There's really not too much weather happening this time around. The country is basically storm free. It's warmest in Florida. We have a little weak storm, which gave us that burst of snow, sleet, grapple, and rain this morning as moving offshore. Another little trough of low pressure coming back in will set off another batch of showers coming up for this afternoon. So there goes what we had this morning moving away and now we're looking at other showers starting to build up through Connecticut and they'll continue to press northeastward as the afternoon goes along. So there'll be some wet times as some of these showers pass on through and the temperatures do go up in the lower 40s. If the showers linger into the evening hours, there could be some spots that gather the rain changing or mixing with some wet snowflakes again. Then later tonight it's all, all clear out and we'll start with a lot of sunshine tomorrow morning. First thing, it'll be in the 35 to 40 range. It'll go up around 50 and there'll be lots of clouds during the day. And then it looks like we're in for beautiful weather after tomorrow. Tomorrow won't be bad. I mean, we'll have a few sunny periods, especially first thing in the morning. And Saturday will start out nice and sunny with some scattered afternoon clouds. Sunday will feature almost all, almost cloud free. And Monday will, you'll hardly have a cloud in the sky when it goes to the lower 60s. So the mornings will be cold, but the afternoons will get progressively warmer each and every day. That's why we might get close to 70 on Tuesday. Never thought I'd say I'm looking forward to Monday. <laughs> Thank you very much, Barry. Thanks for checking in with us. I'm Chris McKinnon. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.